said you won't get to see Princess Zim without bringing gifts. Now, I've marked locations where we'll find something that should work. Tribute for a princess, huh? It'll give me time to meet you there. Wait, what? You think I'd miss the reunion with your mates? I hitched a ride on a smuggler strider. Owen. It'll be fine. Uh, wait, one of them's coming. Back in a sec. Smuggled rabbits. It's not safe out here. Safe gets boring. Time for a freelancer adventure. You'll see. Some scars in the area stole weapons from Princess Sim. Getting back for her could be a good icebreaker. Nearly gonna fill up the fight though. Good, but it's not enough. Regulators aren't easily impressed. I've marked the next location. What are we getting here? Relics. The Scars took a few from Zim's merry band of smugglers. Of course, they probably stole them first, but it will score points with Zim if we get them back. Well, after you take care of the walking bugs. This is why you need me out here. I can help with things like this. Not as easy as it looks, Owen. And it's lucky I'm learning from the best. If I do, might they mean it? Yeah, I never understood what scars you would want with relics. Not the time to ask them. Where are you, anyway? Lost track. The stride is taking so many turns. I think we're following an old smuggler's shortcut. Okay, see if you can find the relics. We've got the relics. Almost have enough. Need one last bit of tribute for the princess. Location marked.
You seen that, Ursix? He's in next fight. Does why? Princess Sim loves to throw a good party. I hear grilled Ursix is a favorite dish. ready to serve. Fresher the better. Now let's deliver it. I've marked the location for Princess Sim's hideout. My strider's approaching Sim's place. Now, before this reunion kicks off, do you even think Halleck and Faye will help? We're all professionals. Yeah, and I've seen professionals beat each other silly. It won't be like that. The stakes are too high. Let's hope. If the Dominion harness the Cenotaph, that blood will be the least of our worries. Stay. 
Did you see some friends of mine? They're working with Princess Zim. What did you bring? Tribute for Her Royal Highness. Hmm. It's adequate. You can go inside. How was the trip? Well, the trip? Oh, it was fabulous. Yeah, I just love hitching a ride on a smuggler strider. It was first-class comfort all the way. Behold the wonders of the palace. All hail Princess Zim. Long may she reign. <laughs> Did you know that she is not a, uh, a real princess, right? She's just a crazy smuggler with delusions of grandeur. You scoped this place out yet? What, you think I went in there alone? Are you crazy? No, I've been standing here waiting for you. Besides, it's your friends we're looking for. Let's go find Halleck and Faye. All right, come on. Hey, is that them over there? Pleasure doing business, Princess. Our business is not yet completed. No? I thought we had a... deal. Who is this, Haluk? No one. An old friend. Please, invite your old friend over to join us. Uh, I'm sorry, but we gotta go. No. First, we celebrate our new partnership in the tradition of my people. Come, closer, friend of Haluk. Scorford and Stinger, highly acidic, is going to burn going down. A lot. Um, you know, I had a big breakfast. Refusing a meal is a grave insult to your host. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, boy. Forgive my ignorance, Princess. I didn't know people could eat this. I come from a harsh and unforgiving land. Plants are scarce. Animals even more so. Before the Dominion conquered us, we had a saying. Food is life. Life is struggle. We understood that. We embraced it. It helped make us strong. Oh. Thanks for the meal, Princess. That was just the appetizer. The main course. Oh. Oh. Mm. Ah. Behold. The pheromone sack of a young Manticore, cured for an entire year in a vat of fermented chimera venom. A rare delicacy I have been saving for a special occasion. After you, Princess. I could not dishonor myself by eating while my guests go hungry. I love Manticore. <laughs> <laughs> Our deal? Be sure to thank your friend, Haluk. How oh, you... you look a little green. Just need to sit down for a second. What do you want? I think what he meant to say was thank you. I have a contract. A contract? Well, we don't need your charity. Excellent. Faye, Halleck, this is Owen. Cypher and Lancer in the making. Corvus sent me. Corvus? Huh. What, are you some kind of a hotshot now? You got a lot of nerve after all this time. Quit being dramatic. Sit down. I'd rather stand. Let's all go back to the Strider. I'll explain. We got our own thing going. Thanks, but no. Wait. Something's not right. Dominion troops! Clear out! Scatter! We'll keep
Keep your friends safe. Don't worry about me. I'll see you there. Bunch of Dominion incoming. Where they all come from? We had a little running with them earlier. Might have killed some of their guys. Guess I didn't sit so well. What a rush. <laughs> I'd say we really took it to the Dominion back then, right? And I think we'll agree that I was, I was pretty fantastic. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? That was a disaster. 
You were a disaster. Never do that again. Please. Right. I'll just, uh, I'll just head to the amplifier. Over here. Nothing's changed. Well, she's probably at least painted or something. The corrosion adds a nice patina. Should we talk about the weather next, or have we fulfilled our quota for small talk? I don't think there's a penalty for going over. Read any good books lately? Thousands of them. It's been a long time, you know. It's good to see you again. Is it? You're not just here because you need something. It doesn't matter. You're back. I'm still picking up a lot of Dominion radio chatter, but we're, we're losing sight of our pursuers. Oh, no, sorry, why have we stopped? Uh, ay, ay, ay. Damn it all to hell. Halle, you still haven't replaced that actuator? It's still good. And shut up. I got this. Yep, off to a great start. Where's my socket wrench? Left in the box, as usual. Never thought you'd be back here. Life's just full of surprises. Switching off starboard power before it overloads. Oh, come on. That's just half the fun. Can we please hurry this up? They will be on top of us any minute now. Pliers. So what are you doing here? I'm helping you fix this garbage actuator. Again. More reliable than some. So what's this contract of yours? Can we please chat later? The Dominion will be here any second. One, please. This is important. Just, you're not helping. Screwdriver. Which one? Use your words. Three eights, obviously. I'm going back to the heart of rage. Really? The Dominion wants the Cenotaph. Corvus hired me to get it first. Well, that explains why Dominion troops showed up at Zim's. Faye, light us up. <clears throat> Faye and I have two years of research and legwork on this. And you want what? Jump in the end and claim credit? Halleck, time is of the essence. We have a lead that requires a Lancer right now. Shouldn't we work together? No! I can handle it. You've got the Dominion on your back, and you don't think that maybe you could use a hand? We could find someone else. You go right ahead, mate. We're not in time, we can't. You need me, and I can't finish this contract without you. One job. Just one. I got a Strider to drive! You said you have a lead? We might. One moment. As expected. Hold these, please. You found something about the Cenotaph or the Heart of Rage? Zim did. Pays to have friends, you know. <laughs> Some friends. I'm sure you've heard of the Legion of Dawn, General Tarsus. What? General Tarsus? Yeah. She entered the last Heart of Rage and reached the center, the Cenotaph. How? I've done the research. Her javelin could do the impossible. It had unique shields and who knows what else. Wait, you, you think you found her armor? The original Javelin of Dawn? Yes, finally. Now we just need to go get it. Interested? Well, personally, I can't wait to see it. Just give me whatever intel Her Highness had, and let's get the expedition started. No need. I'll be supporting this mission. I've already done all the relevant research. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Freelancer, I trust your reunion with Halleck and Faye was productive. There are a few less Dominion who will be bothering us. Always good. So what's the next step? The tomb of General Tarsus. They think her original javelin is still there. 
I'll assume it's for more than just a historical tour. Faye says that javelin could get us into the heart of rage. Then I'm glad I could bring old friends back together. Well, we're still getting, um, reacquainted. Make it work. In the meantime, Corvus has other jobs that might interest you. You know me. I'll take any job I can get. These aren't your usual run-of-the-mill contracts. They're tough. I can handle it. Then talk to my agent, Sev, for a full briefing. He's in the bar. Or rush in, if you want. I know that's more the freelancer style. Whichever the case, keep up the good work. See me when you have a minute. We've got a complication. You'll put this javelin through its paces. Thank you for coming to see me. You said there was a complication? What's happened? I took a look at the intel Zim gave us. It's no good. She promised us one location. She delivered five. Well, all right. That's, uh, unexpected. Zim's data is a fragment of text from the legionnaire Leotrell the Unbroken. She was the general's right hand and, according to legend, the one who laid Tarsus to rest. The text mentions guardians and four tombs that must be visited to find the Javelin of Dawn. The data's barely readable. I'll try to get more out of it while you and Owen look for these tombs. Right. Send me the locations. I'll check them out. Hey, what's up? You called me. I did. Do you have time for a chat? Or, I don't know, do you have to run off and find Faye? You're mad. No, no, no. Just having a little fun. Would you tell me if you were mad? For my business associate? It's the least I could do. Owen. Oh, come on. I'm just teasing. But anyway, I'm not mad. Maybe I'm the one who should be mad after that stupid stunt you pulled. Stunt? Stealing. Borrowing. Borrowing that javelin. Come on. A couple of hiccups, but overall, a successful run. Tactically solid, and it all turned out great in the end. Tactically solid? Come on, it was a mess. You were lucky I was there. That's fair, but you have to give me some points for ballsiness. Nope. Next time, please keep your balls in check. Yes, sir. In the future, I will look to you for advice and guidance. Really, I should, and I will. You know, Owen, I'm never quite sure when you're being straight with me. Ha! 
We'll start with probably not. It's safer that way. Come on. I'm an open book. What do you want to know? Did you always want to be a cipher? I never wanted to be a cipher. It wasn't my choice, but I have the gift. I was one of six kids. It made sense. Parents saw it as an opportunity. Except they didn't tell me. Just dropped me off. My dad was crying, but I didn't know why. Where was your mother? Jail. We were poor, but I guess she was a thief, really. How old were you? Eight. I'm sorry, Owen. That sounds really painful. Bah. It was a long time ago. I just wish they'd asked me, you know? And what changed in you when you became a cipher? What? You mean besides the feeling that the people I love could be one step from abandoning me for my own good? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm kidding. You meant the thing where every cipher is a little broken? What's my broken bit? Nothing important. Doesn't matter. In the end, a cipher can hear the anthem. Hear it. The music of the gods. Who wouldn't give up almost anything for that? You? Oh no, I would. Anything. Anyone who says different is a liar. Halleck. Hey there. Are we on speaking terms? Depends on what you have to say. How about we start by breaking the ice? It's been two years. What happened? Our people go their separate ways. Bad day in the heart of rage. You forgot about it. Faye and I didn't. Simple as that. No one could forget that day, Halleck. All those freelancers we lost, it's still on my mind. Is it? Because you bounced right back. There was a choice. We're freelancers. Doesn't mean we're all the same. We all wear a javelin, don't we? Oh, no, no, no. You don't get to show up out of nowhere and start interrogating me. So how about this? Outside the job, we're just two, I don't know, long lost cousins getting to know each other again. See what happens. All right. We start fresh. <laughs> well, some of us are 45 years old, so fresh is being kind. Maybe I'm your uncle. Maybe we'll even be friends. Sure, kid. As long as we're pretending. But on the job, don't think I'll go easy on you. <laughs> 